Mayang adlaw sa tanan. It's our joy to see all of you as usual. As we say, it's a family treat. It's a, like a family reunion whenever we come together to worship the Lord. It's such a great, great blessing to uh, be able to be together and especially with the presence, in the presence of the Lord. Today, I want us to talk a message that I honestly am very excited. And this will be not a single message, but a series, at least two Possibly three, okay? I don't usually do that, so hopefully that means good things because that means probably it's really important, at least I think it's important. Uh, and so I pray that it will touch our lives. I know some people are excited as well who know this will be the topic. So today let's talk about heaven, okay? Heaven, okay? So let's talk about heaven. Now, what comes to your mind when you think of heaven, okay? And let's, again, like, like we usually do, we say, let's be honest, okay? Many of us, when they say heaven, we're not excited. You know, if you say, if you know you're going to Boracay, Madam Gohani mo ang Boracay. If you know you're going to America or Hong Kong, maka dream ka, grabe, makaptivate ka. Who among us dreams of heaven? Ah, maihap sa kamot. Isa ka kamot, or duha ka kamot. Okay? Most of us, when we say heaven, walang luxo sa dugo. Okay? Now, today I want us to start a series of two or three messages to help us understand. Now, please, I'm not trying to condemn you. I'm saying to you, it is very important that we understand where we're going. Amen? Listen, kayo. Tapadulong ka dito, no turning back, waha ka balaon sa to. Amen? Listen, Kaya, okay? Today, these days, Pastor Leah and I, we are preparing to bring some of our leaders that we promised to bring to Bohol uh, some time ago, but nag pandemic naman, so wala to na dayon. So we're preparing to bring them there. So si Pastor Leah, grabi ka busy. Risos, risos, mga hotel, tawagan niya. Unsay na diya, pila ni nga tour, pila na nga tour. Unsay, enjoy ba na nga kuhan. So akala na ginabuhat. I remember before we went to, we want to experience uh, a snow. So we, before we went to the US on that, Particular trip because we've been there several times. Ah, we plan na namo dahan na it's okay. Ang sam, ang sam ato ano do dito, etc. Oh, snow, hallelujah. Ito sa ato bohaton, unsa ato sulugon para pag pictorial nice ka yun, etc. Ma, 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 ma captivate ka, mag dream ka. Unta maubot ato ngano ato na dito. But for heaven, heaven, okay. Wala kana lang. Wala, wala, wala ng dating sa atin. And I want us to be really honest. For many of us, ang ato ng pag Pag gunawan na sa heaven, morag, sigundara na sa burakay, mas nindot pang burakay. Ang lingaw diha sa langit, uh, okay siguro, pero I'm not sure. Okay? For many of us, we think of heaven as an unending church service. Kanang ingon sa oban na forever and ever, magkanta na lang daw ka dito sa panganod. Okay? Dili natin doon. Okay? I want to help you to understand. Okay? We'll explain that. We'll explain that. Don't worry, Bill. We'll talk about the Bible, okay? We'll worship the Lord, but we will not worship the Lord 24-7. We'll have work to do. We have study to do. We have many good things to do. Amen? So let's, 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 uh, let's go uh, to a study. And I promise it will be based on the Word of God. I'm not perfect, so of course I can make mistakes. But the good thing is we can always come back to the Scriptures and let the Scriptures guide us. So, balik tapir sa some of you may have heard some of these things, so I thank God. Let this be a refresher for you. You see, for me, whenever I, I hear something taught, na nadungga na ako before kabalo na ako, wala ko nagreklamo. Kano? Bakit ulitin ko na naman yan? No, no, to me, I want to learn it more. To me, I, I want mastery. Gusto na ako ma-master tanahan. Na pwede na ako itulog, bisa wala na ako yung notes. Amen? Not, that's just because I'm a pastor, but because I want the Word of God to touch my life and touch many lives. So today, I want us to really look into what heaven is. Now, again, we don't have much time, so ato lang ning paspasan. Please, if you have questions, some of you are my Facebook friends, you can chat me. Uh, some of you have other ways to communicate with me, you can feel free to do that. So first, let's begin with the truth about heaven. The truth about heaven. Dagan kay misconceptions about heaven. It's an ending church service. Dito ka sa panganon, gagunit ka, violin o harp. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! One million years. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! One billion years. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Two billion years. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! To forever. It will not be like that. Okay? 
I'm trying to dramatize it, please. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to those who believe that. I'm trying to dramatize a truth which we will learn from the Bible later on. So now I'm in adequate views, in correct views. So let's talk about it. Okay, below is a table that summarizes some common misconceptions about heaven and presents the truth about heaven as taught in the Bible. Now, this is not original to me. This is from Randy Alcorn. So I'll try to compare it. Okay, what many people believe about heaven and what the Bible actually teaches about heaven. So let's begin. Okay, what we assume about heaven, what the Bible says about heaven. Uh, what we assume, uh, heaven is a non-earth, okay? And what the Bible says, it's a new earth, okay? Meaning, some people say, what's heaven going to be like? And they say, the Bible says, no, I have seen, no, I have heard, no mind has conceived, but God has prepared for those who love him. So nobody knows. <laughs> we know, because God has revealed it to us. In fact, that verse, no, I have seen, it says, but God has revealed it to us through the Holy Spirit. That's a continuation of the verse, okay? It's a non-earth. Non-earth meaning, you know, you're, it's like, it's like a, a, a mystical, mysterious, uh, 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 bodiless existence. No, but it's a new earth. It's a real earth. Okay? Next is, uh, we assume it's unfamiliar and otherworldly. Delita familiar. Okay? But the Bible actually says heaven is familiar and heaven is earthly. Okay? Okay, so the former heaven was on the earth. Paradise, Garden of Eden. Okay? Heaven was on the earth, all right? And when man sinned, na, nabulag ang langit o yuta, heaven went up, the earth stayed where it is. Right now, heaven is up there, before it was here. And then in the future, the Bible says, Revelation 21, it will come down to earth, okay? So the, the true heaven and earth is, uh, is, is, er, is familiar to us. It is earthly or here on this earth. That's why in the Old Testament, they say, the righteous will inherit the land. That's why you're saying the righteous will go into heaven. You inherit the land, meaning, pero not this broken one. God will redeem and renew this, amen, and perfect this, but it will be here, uh, and therefore it will be familiar, okay? What we assume about heaven is disembodied, but the Bible says resurrected or embodied. Da. Many people say, so long it were just like spirits without bodies. Kaluluwa lang tayo na nag float float sa langit, but the Bible does not say that, okay? The Bible says in heaven, we, we have bodies, okay? We, we, we are resurrected, we have real lives. What we assume about heaven is foreign, meaning something we cannot know. But the Bible says that the heaven is home. That means it has all the comforts of home with all of the innovations of an infinitely creative God. So the Bible says the first heaven was a garden, Garden of Eden, paradise. The Bible says that the future eternal heaven is also a garden, but a garden city. Okay? So the difference is that, una, garden lang, gamay lang tao. Ang ending is garden city na daghanag tao. Okay, this is much more, this is much more complete and full. In the Garden of Eden, there can be sin and curse can come in. It was innocent, but it was not perfect. The future heaven and earth is going to be complete and perfect. No more sin. dito, wala na mag-rebuild dito. Mas mabalik na po sa uno. Kaya naanap po halas na nagtintal kang iba. Naanap po murag iba nga maulog na po. And we just go back and forth. No. It will be perfect. And it will be home. And it will be very, very familiar. Hallelujah. Uh, next is leaving favorite things behind. That's what we assume about heaven. Uh, but what the Bible says is heaven will be retaining the good and finding the best ahead. So actually, the, 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 what I like, I love the most, at least because it's, I think, most helpful down to the practical is the, the last of the three. Okay? If we do the three. If we do the two, then maybe we can, we'll do it on next Sunday. But what, what I love about that is the fact that what we will experience in heaven if, ultimately will be you know, everything that's good on this earth, but, you know, something really, really greater or, you know, kumbaga upgraded ng gusto. Okay? So, sa una garden, walang buildings. Tama ba? Okay? Pero sa future, meron ng buildings. Okay? So, all of the good and righteous things na meron, na na-develop through God-given wisdom, will be there, even upgraded. So, will there be internet in heaven? <laughs> it can be a good thing. Why not? Amen? Will there be some kind of transportation, whatever it may be, spaceship, flying cars, whatever? I don't know. It's not bad. 
Okay, nga nung mamugos man si Lord nga na ata kabayo, kabayo, pwede man sa garden, sa so syudad din na man pwede, amen? Most likely, we'll have some kind of holy cars or <laughs> whatever. And I'm trying to be funny, but I'm, but I'm trying to drive home a point. It will be wonderful, uh, everything that's good, and with, with, you know, upgraded pa, okay? And then, what we wrongly assume is no time and space. Kung nalang, walay time in heaven, well... Again, different views. We respect the people who believe differently, but we believe there are multiple descriptions that say there is actually time uh, and space in heaven. Night time, night space. We will be living concretely with bodies. Uh, heaven will not be static. Na katong static meaning katong na siya. Wala na. Hindi na siya magdevelop. Okay? Kini ganing earth na develop ganin nato. Okay? In our fallenness, in our sinfulness. Okay, but with God-given wisdom and grace, lalo na ito ating heaven na pupuntahan. It will be dynamic and it will keep on growing and growing. Amen. And then what we falsely assume, neither old, uh, like either nor new and earthly, just strange and ano. Unsa mga langit? Okay. Even religious leaders were asked, unsa ang langit as well? Well, I guess we live forever with God. Uh, but uh, I cannot imagine. It seems so depressing. It, I cannot, you know, I, I, it, to me, it's like a subject that I'm not really excited to think about. But the Bible says it's both old, meaning all of the garden and everything, and new, the city and other things. Uh, uh, in the old or wrong understanding, there was nothing to do floating on the clouds. But as we understand the Bible, we have a God to worship and serve, a universe to rule, purpose to work to accomplish, friends to enjoy. So what we, you see, when God made man to live, original, okay, please, okay? Original man, Adam and Eve, were una ginawa ni Lord na heaven and earth and paradise, so heaven was on earth. Inlagay niyang tao, ang tao, na-experience niya ang langit, sa lupa. Okay? Lahat ng ma- kumain siya, naglaro siya, nag-joke-joke sila, etc. <laughs> those things they did, okay? The normal life, okay? So those things we will do in the new creation. We will serve, we will garden, we will develop. Science and technology would most likely, why not, continue to grow and develop, but this time only in godly directions, etc. Uh, what we falsely assume, no learning or discovery, instant and complete knowledge of the Bible, then we will know fully, 1 Corinthians 13. So people think that means you know everything, but the Bible actually says in the book of Revelation, for example, that you don't know everything. You will continue to learn and grow and develop. We'll go to some verses later on today and in the coming weeks, okay? But there will be uh, an eternity of learning and discovering, okay? So if you have Star Wars mindset, you have scientific mindset, the Lord will probably fulfill that desire of yours for, you know, hindi ka mabor, you will have a universe to explore and learn while you do uh, things for God and serve God. Uh, some people think of heaven as boring, okay? But, uh, but uh, you know, it's actually going to be very fascinating. Amen? In the same way na kung mag-dive ka sa ilalo, mag-scuba diving ka, Ano ang, ano ang, ano ang, ang, ang impression sa'yo? At least if, you, if you're doing it all the time, maybe you're not that super impressed unless you go to new places na naman, mga really unexplored parts of Australia or whatever. But the normal person, when you go into scuba diving, you say, wow! Wow, ang ganda lang. Anong klaseng isda yan? Uy, anong klaseng chorus? Wow, wow, wow! Okay. Imagine mo ganon, so that is just down there, <laughs> okay? Or if you go up and you go to the skies and so on, you know, wow, wow, formation ng clouds and, you know, ibang klaseng kulay ng reflection ng sun and whatever. And you say, wow, 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 wow. It will be, this time, it will be even more fascinating uh, because it will be that, 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 the, in the greater scale. And then, sabi natin, loss of desire. Uh, but mawala ka ng desire, para ka ng... Holy person na, na perfect ka na, wala ka ng parang robot na lang na, hindi ka na magkasala, pero wala ka rin kasiyahan sa buhay. Pero the Bible says there will be continuous fulfillment of desire. That the Lord will make you and me. No, the Bible says there will be a river, right? The river of the water of life. And then there will be, uh, there's a river, then there's fish, right? And then there's the, the trees on the left side, on the right side. And so we'll, we'll eat and so on. What kind of eating? Uh, will we eat meat? Will we eat? Uh, only fish or vegetables, I don't know. Okay, but I was, I was just thinking, you know, uh, some time ago, uh, my family and I, once in a while, we go to Clean Cafe. If you know that, that's along Luna Subdivision. And one time, someone brought us to Simple Made or Made Simple. These are vegetarian restaurants. So I tell you, 
If you don't ask, and you just eat the food, especially if it's brought to you in the house, you would not know that it's vegetarian because it really looks great and really smells great and really tastes great, okay? So I tell you, don't worry about it. I don't, I, I, we're not 100% sure what our diet will be, but I'm sure it will be good, amen? I'm sure it will be fun. I'm sure the Lord will satisfy our desire for that. But in other things, we will have fulfillment of desire. Okay? And then uh, we wrongly assume absence of the terrible, the presence of little we desire. But, you know, but uh, the Bible actually says the presence of the wonderful, everything we desire, and nothing we don't. It's going to be wonderful. No more sickness. You know, more pain. We'll look at that later on. No more crying. No more tears. No more depression. No more, you know, no more mga mood swing and other things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, God will make it all so perfect and right. Amen. Now, let's talk about the intermediate heaven and eternal heaven. Okay? Intermediate heaven and eternal heaven. Eternal heaven is where we will live forever. All humanity will love God and obey God will live forever. Intermediate heaven is the in-between. Eternal heaven is the final destination. Intermediate heaven is the stopover. It's like magato kag Hong Kong, ang imong stopover Cebu. Magato kag whatever Bangkok, stopover kag Manila. The intermediate is Cebu and Manila. Temporary stay, ang imong yung final destination um, uh, Hong Kong or Bangkok or whatever. So let's talk about this, okay? Now, what this means is today when we say, you know, when when we tell our children, si mama mo, si lola mo, nasa heaven na. No, we are referring to the intermediate heaven because now, wala pang eternal heaven because eternal heaven will happen only when Jesus Christ comes back to earth. Amen? That's why in the Bible, the coming of Jesus is such an anticipated thing because it will bring the completeness of the perfecting of this world. Tanggalin lahat ng pangit at lahat ng maganda, mas gaganda pa. Hallelujah, it's gonna be really, really glorious. But anyway, let's talk about the intermediate or the present uh, stop over heaven where our dead loved ones are, are uh, right now. Philippians 1, 22 to 23. For to me, said the Apostle Paul, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Okay, now, Apostle Paul, tell me, yun yung anong gain ginansa man kung makatug langit. Kaya ang langit, mas go po sa yuta. Amen? And I tell you, many of us will agree mentally, yes, amen, pero emotionally, dili mo agree atong emotion. Mas happy ta sa Starbucks na to. Diri, mas happy ta sa tanan na to, mga delivery, mga Lazada, mga Hulz. Happy ta sa atong mga Boracay, mga Hong Kong. Okay? Nga naman, wala na itong nasabdan. So today, may the Lord help us to understand. Okay? To die is gain. But if I live on in the flesh, this will fruit from my labor. With what shall I choose? I cannot tell. For I am hard pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Okay? To be in heaven... Heaven is the place where God lives. You see, it's far better. Not just because Christ is there. That's the primary, but because the whole thing is so beautiful. Siyempre kung ka ang balay ni Lord, siyempre kung ka ang, you know, kung baga headquarters sa iyang kingdom, definitely is going to be glorious. So we read that. That's the one that's referred to in Philippians. But the eternal future, final heaven will be in, is the one referred to, for example, in Revelation 21, 1 onwards. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and He will dwell with them. So, heaven will not be, the eternal heaven will not be up there. It will be down here. It will be familiar. It will actually, most likely be, the present world that's renewed. Kung parang may pagkasimilar kundi sa Narnia. Na, na binago yun siya, naging perfected siya, etc. But it's still the old thing made new uh, and, and upgraded, etc. But anyway, uh, they will be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. He was sitting on the throne and said, I am making everything. You know? By making everything, it doesn't mean bago na lahat. It simply means yung mga dati na maganda na nasira na ayos. Kaya new na rin yun. Amen? It's going to be really beautiful, absolutely perfect. Hallelujah. Imagine living in a place, guay lino, guay baha, 
why volcano na ma-erap, why kawatan, why rapist, why chismosa, why mga maritero, why, why mga intrigero, etc. Everything is just beautiful. Hallelujah. That's the place we're going to. Amen. Palapakan natin muna si Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, the present intermediate heaven is a glorious physical place. Now, I know for some, you know, they would not agree that it's a physical place, okay? So, ang ilang understanding is it is a beautiful place, siguro, but you're a spirit. You don't have a body. You live, but in a, in a strange way because wala kang katawan, okay? I want to show you today and more in the coming weeks or week or weeks uh, uh, that, that most likely is not the case. So, let's talk about it that we believe the present intermediate heaven, the one where our Papa, Mama, where my father and mother, I believe, are because they love the Lord and obey the Lord while they were on this earth. And our loved ones who, who died in the Lord are there. Okay, so let's talk about that. Number one, since there is a real, true, genuine, physical sanctuary on earth, there must be a real sanctuary in heaven. Okay? So kung ay templo or a house of worship diri sa yuta, most likely na sa langit, following what we call a substance a uh, shadow versus substance principle. Ano sa shadow versus substance? Uh, Naadali sa yuta, shadow lang. Meaning, morag patilaw lang, morag sketch lang. The real thing is there, pero na sketch para magka-idea lang ka, okay? So, for example, we say Hebrews 8.5, they serve as a sanctuary that is a copy and shadow of what is in heaven, okay? So, naadali sa yuta, pero shadow, morag sketch drawing lang sa unsay na sa heaven. That is why Moses was warned and was about to build a tabernacle, see that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. So most likely, it looks like na. Number two, a person who believes in Jesus Christ will go to the intermediate heaven paradise when he dies. So for example, uh, uh, in Luke 23, 43, and Jesus said to him, Surely I say to you, today you will be with me in Paradise, okay? So it's the paradise that's recorded in the book of Genesis that's going to be there uh, uh, in the future, okay? And in the, even in the present, the intermediate heaven, it's there. Number three, there is a tree of life in the intermediate heaven as there was in the Garden of Eden, paradise. So Genesis 3, 24. So he drove out the man, okay, and he placed him, that's Adam, cherubim, at the east of the Garden of Eden on a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life, okay? So now tree of life, so original heaven on earth, uh, Eden, and then uh, karon sa intermediate heaven where our uh, people that we love, who love God, are there, and there will be in the eternal heaven later on. Revelation 2, 7, he was in here, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him overcomes, I will give the right to the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Number four, people who die experience things like they do on earth with their bodies. Okay, so... We believe that the Bible actually gives clues, ma clues, okay? You see, the Bible is revelation. Ano si Pastor sa revelation? Ang dili masabtan, gitanggal na ang nakalibog or nakabara para masabtan. Revelation means unveiling. Ang nakatakip para hindi mo mabasa o maintindihan, tinanggal na para mabasa mo or maintindihan mo na. Okay, so for example, in the story of Lazarus and the rich man, uh, it talks about the intermediate heaven, but again, Look at uh, the realities there. Luke 16, 19. There was a rich man who was clothed in purple, fine linen, feasted sumptuously every day. At his gate was laid a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, even the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. Abraham is the father of the faith, as far as the Jewish people are concerned, and even for Christians as well. And then the rich man also died and was buried, and in Hades or hell, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. So, so hell, if it's an intermediate hell, temporary hell, na ay suffering, mabati niya ang sakit, sa langit na gihapon kahit intermediate nga langit. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy and send my Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger and water and cool my tongue for I am in anguish in this flame, etc. But Abraham said, Child, remember that in your lifetime you receive your good things and Lazarus in like manner bad things, but now he is being comforted here and you are in, agonis, in anguish. So, the, the, the man who did not follow God, na a genuine experience. Wala siya kayo imagine nga na siya nabating ang sakit. Mabati ka niya ang sakit sa iyang lawas. Ma-remember niya iyang gibuha at kanito. Ma-remember niya if you continue in the story, not in the PowerPoint, na na siya mga iksuon, na pasayuta. Gusto niya di sila maabot sa impero. So he knew all of those things. The, the rich, uh, the, sorry, the, 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 the man who was following God, Lazarus, uh, experienced his comfort, joy, 
normal things na nadali sa yuta na gihapon sa langit. Alright? So, please, what we're establishing is heaven is a real place, a really glorious, beautiful place. It's not like you're like, you become like an angel or like a baby floating in the sky holding a harp say, Hallelujah! Two billion years, Hallelujah! One trillion years, Hallelujah! That's what you don't know. That's not what you will do. You will have beautiful, enjoyable. Now, that's enjoyable too if you want, okay? But there, there are other things, normal things we do uh, that we will be there as well. Anyway, what light is like in the present or intermediate heaven? Unsa ang kinaboy karon dito sa present or intermediate heaven? Let's look at three verses and from there, uh, we will look at uh, the, the implication. This is also from Randy Alcorn. Revelation 6, 9 to 11. When the Lamb opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. They called out in a loud voice, How long, sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Then each of them was given a white robe and they were told to wait a little longer until the number of their fellow servants and brothers who were to be killed as they had been were completed. Okay, so, atong ni kadale. All right, now, these, these, uh, what's described here was shown to John the Apostle, disciple of the Lord, on a vision. And then he was told to write it down. It was a vision of what was happening in heaven. It was not just a message about something, it was a sneak peek into the reality, what's happening in heaven. So let's look at what's there. 21 observations concerning this passage. Number one, when people died on earth, they relocated to heaven. So gikandiri, balin sila dito. Number two, these people in heaven were the same ones killed for Christ while on the earth. Okay? So in heaven, you will be the same you. Okay? You and not another, according to Job. My eyes and not the eyes of another, according to Job. For example, number three, people in heaven will be remembered for their lives on earth. These were known and identified as one slain because of the testimony they had maintained. So part of personality is memory. Natay memory. Matimana na itong sa itong naitabo before, etc. Number four, they called out. Verse 10 means they're able to express themselves audibly. They suggest that they exist in physical form with vocal cords or other tangible means to express themselves. How would John know that they were calling out if he, there was nothing to indicate that? They probably, he probably heard words. He probably saw their mouths uh, you know, uh, opening, etc. So it seems to indicate physicality. Number five, people in the present heaven can raise their voices. This indicates that they are rational, communicative, and emotional, even passionate beings like people on earth. Number six, they called out in a loud voice, not loud voices. Individuals speaking with one voice indicate that in heaven is a place of unity and shared perspective. So not just, you know, not just physical, but mental, emotional, volitional. They were alive, real, like you and me. We decided to come to church today. That's why we're here together, amen? So, natay paguna-una, kasabota, etc. Okay. Seven, the martyrs are fully conscious, rational, aware of each other, God, and the situation on earth, okay? So, you're, you're alive. In fact, tanan na curse na naglimit sa ato wakaroon. Di ba, yung ano science, sa atong brain cells, ginagamit ito, pila lang, 4%, whatever. All right, the mga genius, I think less than 10%, imagine ni mo. So, the point is, Grabe ka downgraded ang atong experience here, but in heaven it will be alive and really up to the up there in terms of our potential. Number eight, they ask God to intervene on earth and to act on their behalf. How long until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Number nine, those in heaven are free to ask questions, which means they have an audience with God. It also means that they need to learn. In heaven, people is our understanding and Pursue it, okay? So, you don't know everything when you're in heaven. That's why you need to ask, okay? It's not like heaven genius na ka, Albert Einstein na ito. No, 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 no. We are still learning. There are many things we, we don't know. We need to ask. We communicate, etc. Then, people in the present heaven know what is happening on earth. The martyrs know enough to realize that those who kill them have not yet been just... Kabalo sila sa yuta, napatong mga daotang tao, the Antichrist, the people of the Antichrist, killing Christians. Kabalo sila, and they say, God, when will you judge? Please judge. Aware sila sa ilang experience, past and present. Aware sila sa experience sa mga tao sa yuta. And so that means they're alive. Really alive, like you and me. They're not just spirits floating, floating, floating. No, they are alive, like you and me. Okay? Uh, 
And then 11, heaven dwellers have a deep concern for justice and retribution. 12, the martyrs clearly remember their lives on earth. They even remember that they were murdered. Because they were followers of Jesus. 13, the martyrs in heaven pray for judgment on their persecutors who are still at work hurting others. They are acting in solidarity with and in effect interceding for the suffering saints on earth. This suggests that the saints in heaven are both seeing and praying for the saints on earth. 14, those in heaven see God's attributes, so sovereign, holy, and true, in a way that makes its judgments of sin more understandable. 15, those in heaven are distinctive individuals, then each of them has given a white robe. There isn't one merged identity that obliterates uniqueness, but a distinct each of them. So, here, for example, see si Brother Seth, okay? Siya gihapon ang maabot dito, okay? Or si Paul, or si Philip, si Rochelle. Si Carlo, si Jel, ang salangit dito, dili na, lahi ito, siya gihapon dito. Exactly. You'll, when you see him in heaven, you'll recognize him. Minus all of the warts and all of the imperfections. Kung may topak siya sa lupa, sa langit, wala siya topak. Hallelujah. Okay. But it will be him. Dili ma-merge atong identity. Amen. Number six, the martyrs wearing white robes. Sorry for the topic. It's just a way to drive home a point. Okay? I think you know that. Sixteen, the martyrs wearing white robes suggests the possibility of actual physical forms because these embodied spirits presumably don't wear robes. The robes may well have a symbolic meaning, but it doesn't mean that it couldn't also be physical. The martyrs appear to have physical forms that John could actually see. So John saw a sneak peek ang mga tao na ay ginasulog. Okay? In olden times, they were robes. That's why robes. Sila, karon, if he was given that vision today, he will probably say they were wearing jeans and a jacket. Okay? But if you're a spirit na nag float float di ba float po ng ang jacket or jeans or robe? I mean, if, 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 if the robe is real, that it's visible, could, I mean, sa asa magbitay ang robe? Dapat na siguro ilawas. Di ba? Tama ba? Because the whole idea of a clothing is there is a flesh to put it on. Tama ba? So, it suggests that I physical form as well, even though I possible na symbolic meaning. 17, God answers their question, indicating communication and process. 18, God fulfills promises to fulfill the martyr's request as they will have a wait a little longer. Okay, in quotation marks, we did it in verse 11. Okay, those in the present heaven live in anticipation of the future fulfillment of God's promises. Unlike the eternal heaven where there will be no more sin, curse, or suffering on the new earth, the present heaven coexists with and watches over on earth under sin, the curse, and blessing. 19, there is time in present heaven, verses 10 and 11. The white-robed martyrs ask God a time Dependent question, how long, sovereign Lord, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Now, again, I know many people believe walay time sa langit, but question, again, please, actual ang nakita ni John, actual ang ipakita sa iya ni Lord. It was not a vision of like a dream or something about some, it was the reality. God gave him a sneak peek, sabi na, how long, kanus, kanus, agino, kanus, na ay time. Aware sila nga dugay na ang niag, iandar na panahon, nigaga na panahon, kung nagahulat sila. Kung walay time, saan yung pagkabulong nga dugay na? Kung saan yung pagkabulong nga Lord? Kanus aman? How can you ask if there's no time? Okay? It is not necessary for heaven to have no time for it to become heaven. It doesn't have to be that way. So, there seems to be a time in heaven. And there are other indications as well in the Bible. Verse 20, the people of God in heaven have a strong familial connection with those on earth who are called their fellow servants and brothers. Okay, verse 11, our sovereign God knows down to the last detail all that is happening and will happen on earth, including every drop of blood shed and every bit of suffering undergone by his children. So to make the long story short, okay, okay, the glorious heaven and earth in the original creation which was separated and now cursed ang, ang, ang the, the intermediate heaven, at least the, the one in between, what the Bible calls the third heaven, where de demons live and then the earth is cursed. But anyway, in where, the place where God lives, the, you know, sorry, third heaven is the place where God lives. The second heaven is where demons live, okay? Ephesians 6, Ephesians 2, etc. But anyway, the Bible says there will be a glorious, glorious future. And uh, uh, in the third heaven, it's there now, but even more so in what is happening, it's going to be real and beautiful, absolutely glorious. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Okay.
We're about to land this, I know, baka information overload, but tandaan nyo lang yon. it's gonna be good. By the way, if, you, if you're a leader, uh, the life group guide today is one page. Usually it's half page, right? Today is one page. So all the details uh, that you need are there, okay? So eternal heaven is our awesome final destination and home. There will be no negative thing in the eternal heavens and earth. Again, Revelation 1, 1 to 5. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. God will make all things new. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, out of the skies. From there, it will come back here in the original. That's why, kung ang original nga, langit sa yuta, ang future na langit sa yuta, and ang original, physical, nangaon yun sila iba, naglakaw sila, etc., so in the future, same gihapon physical, okay? Mga onta, mga ta, and other beautiful things we will do, okay? Firstly, firstly, I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people. Not in the clouds. Not in the clouds, just singing and singing and singing and singing and singing and singing forever. They will be His people. God Himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, mourning, crying, pain. All order, all order of things has passed away. I am making everything new, says the Lord. Number two, abundance of joy is a primary characteristic of life in heaven. Alam mo joy is a major, major theme in the Bible. Old Testament, na. Gospels, Jesus, nah, the epistles, the writers, of the, the apostles, and so on. Joy is a real factor that's going to be experienced to a great extent and to a really kumbaga end level on earth, on heaven. Sorry, Psalm 11, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Number three, Revelation 21 and chapters 21 and 22 portray the new earth and the new heaven as actual places, okay? So original, Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, actual places, future actual places, okay? Revelation 21, 12, it, the new Jerusalem has a great high wall, na ipader, will 12 gates, na mga gate, and all the gates will 12 angels, on the gates names of 12 tribes of the sons of Israel were inscribed. Revelation 22, 1 onwards, and the angels showed me the river of the water of light, na dakong asapa, bright as crystal flowing from the throne of God into the Lamb, to the middle of the street of the city, na streets, okay? Na uh, fruit, na leaves, na healing, na nations, etc. So real, real place. So it's a real existence except that wala na yung mga dautan. Wala na imperfection. Wala na yung mga tunglo. Wala na yung makahilak, makadaot. Wala na yung maka, makatralala sa ato. Ha? Makadaot sa atong mental health or whatever. It will be a perfect, glorious place. Number four, God will renew all things. Acts 3.20 uh, 21, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the time for restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of His holy prophets long ago. So, tanang nawala, ibalik, and then ang, ang, ang i-perfect ni Lord, okay, it will be complete and absolutely perfect. Matthew 19, 27, 28, Peter answered him, we have left everything to follow you, Jesus, what then will bear it be for us? Jesus said to them, truly I tell you, at the renewal, the restoration of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne on the second coming of Jesus, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So it will be a renewed creation. Next, heaven and earth, heavens and earth 1.0 versus heavens and earth 2.0. Can we have the musicians now, okay? Now, kanang 1.0, 2.0, I'm, we're using the analogy of, for example, computer software or mga apps and uh, technology, okay? So Windows 10, Windows 11, etc. Those kinds of things, iOS 13, etc. Okay, so now upgraded, now improved version, etc. Okay? Our eternal home is a super upgraded version of the present heavens and earth. So whatever is here will be there. Will there be homes in heaven? Oh, of course. Will there be cars in heaven? Of course. So means and transportation? Yes. Will there be a way of communication like high-speed internet that will not destroy your body? Okay? Most likely, yes. Of course. Why not? Will there be food? Of course. Will there be singing and party? Of course. The Bible describes that. Okay? Okay? The Bible, it will be a normal life, but minus all of the intriga, all of the sakit, kawad on, tanan, Wala na natan. Wala po itaning. Wala ipanuway. Hallelujah. Amen? Beautiful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Sa, sa Isaiah 65, 17, See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. You will actually have a memory, but it will not affect you anymore in a negative way. Second Peter 3, 13, But in keeping with His promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where our righteousness dwells. So using the analogy, for example, of, of Windows, for example. Windows 11 na mga yan. No? Wala pang 12, di ba? Windows, most of us are using Windows 10. Some of us are using Windows 11. Okay? Now, Compare among 10 and 11, okay? Uh, when you say upgraded version, Windows 11, may bago, pero hindi ka mawawala. Kasi kung ano ang features niya, basically, meron siyang continuity. Amen? Hindi siya bago lahat na masag na ka. No, no, no. There is a way to know because there is familiarity, okay? Ang the eternal, glorious heavens and earth will be familiar because it will be earthly, okay? It will be something... Na, na nice na dilita must be feeling strange as ang planeta na nino it will not be like that it will be familiar but only so much better Amen and lastly make sure you are ready and qualified to live and enjoy forever in the new heavens and earth this is the last and then we'll pray okay heaven is only for those who, for people who love and obey God okay Otherwise, kung taagya po yung mga marites dito, mga kawatan, mga bakakon dito, mga whatever, uh, di na ito langit. <laughs> Imagine mo, ang langit na pa, intriga na, ay naku, napaisakit, mohilak na po ta, maglubong na po ta, patay, no, wala na natanan, okay? But it will be for those people who love and obey God. The Bible says Jesus will come, Hebrews 9.28, to those who are eagerly waiting for Him. So love God and obey God. Do His will. That's the way to get to heaven. Hebrews uh, 12, 14. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone, God and people, and to be holy without holiness. No one will see the Lord. So God wants you to be holy, to live right with God. And when you do that, you will be qualified to be with God in heaven. How do you get that? Faith in the Lord. Surrender to the Lord. Humbly coming before God. Confessing your sins. Yun lang po yun. And then you get there and enjoy all of that as gifts from the Lord. Amen? Beautiful, 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 beautiful things are waiting for you and me. Let's love God and obey God. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands and honor the Lord. Thank you, God. You may stand, please, those joining us online. Join us in prayer as well. Come on, let's all pray. Our Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are here. And you're reminding us of that beautiful, glorious, amazing world, oh God, that you've prepared for us. Come on, just respond to the Lord. Tell Him uh, today that you're thankful. Tell Him today that you're excited. Tell Him today that you're, you know, whatever it is in your heart, whatever the Lord spoke to you, just begin to respond to God. Salamat kino sa imong kipadayag. Salamat kino sa imong kipasabot sa moa. Salamat sa kwapo kaayaw ng kaugmaon. Hallelujah! Sobra pasahayag ng kaugmaon. Glory to God. Salamat na lang kong kaugmaon. Thank you, Lord God, for that glorious future. God, we pray that we will all be ready. We will all be prepared. Lord, salamat, Lord. Karon ko na kayo mga kompromiso na yung mga sala, yung mga ginatagot-taguan, ginagunitan, dilin yung mga gusto yung surrender ka, Lord. This is the time. Surrender that to God. Right now, huwag mong ipagpalit ang langit sa konting kaligayahan sa mundo. Huwag mong gawin yan. Napaka-baking pali yan. Come on, come to the Lord. Lord, patawarin ba kami sa aming mga kasalanan? Patawarin mo kami, Lord, sa aming mga kompromiso. Forgive us, God, sa pagpuot-puot na mo. Relationships that are wrong, practices that are wrong, secret sins, vices, pornography, immorality, pride, rebellion, bitterness. Lord, forgive us, God. Basay luwa, mi kinoo. Lord, among kitugin, among kinaboy sa imo. Lord, we give ourselves to you. Lord God, we surrender to you. And if you have not yet surrendered your life to God, just surrender your life to God. Just tell Him, God, I need you. Jesus, come into my life. Jesus, I trust in you. Be my Lord and be my Savior. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. And if you do that, God will forgive your sins. He'll make you His child. So, Lord, we thank you, God. We receive your salvation as we surrender our lives to you. Salamat, Lord.